Just listen to this. Governor DeSantis. The tech companies are trying to, uh, and proof before Musk on Twitter, Twitter was, they're trying to use massive power, massive ability to shape the narrative to enforce orthodoxy and to marginalize dissenting views. And so the orthodoxy they want is not your values or my values. I can tell you that right now. And so you know and you see it. And so this was one thing they're talking about Hunter Biden, but there's a hundred other examples that they're going to be able to show and how they marginalized people that were speaking the truth on COVID was really, really damaging. And it ended up killing people uh, because people would tell the truth and they would get deplatformed um, on Twitter. We also going to be doing some stuff because I have a Surgeon General in Florida, Dr. Yeah. Joseph Latifo. strong of just fighting back against the narrative and the phony um, uh, phony uh, uh, things that people are trying to do and focus on the evidence. And so, you know, we are going to work uh, to hold uh, these uh, manufacturers accountable for this mRNA because they said there was no side effects. And we know that there have been a lot. And so we did a study in Florida and you saw an 86% increase in cardiac related activity uh, from people 18 to 39 from mRNA shots. And so we're going to be doing some stuff uh, to bring accountability there because I think it's just something where you know, we wouldn't let them mandate on you in Florida. Um, you know, we said, you know, no, because like Orange County wanted to fire firefighters. Gainesville wanted to fire people. But even the corporations like Disney wanted to fire. So we said no across the board. So everybody had the ability uh, to opt out of anything they were trying to impose on you. But there are other people around the country that got forced to take this. And then what? They're not allowed to sue or get any type of recourse when this is not something that they wanted to do. Uh, so this is something that we're going to lead on in Florida. So we're going to have uh, probably some announcements over the next uh, three or four weeks on that.